be the registered donors are the ones who are registered at the lab registry. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that we come, of course, uh, we have, uh, you know, the society has uh, an advocate firm which learns our, most of our legal uh, issues. Okay. Right? And uh, after they have confirmed, then we go into a contract with the, with the person we're selling around and agree. Okay. I can see that uh, we've been uh, so far very, very lucky. We've not encountered any fraud as far well as, uh, you know, our pro projects are concerned. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I ask this question because we all know what happens around Nairobi when it comes to matters land and property. Mr. Moses, yes, you know, yes. we talk about fraud, we talk about double allocation of titles. Have you ever met such a, an, a I mean, a, a, have you been involved in such an, a circumstance that uh, you had a title and uh, now it is not yours alone? I mean, you have like two, three or four others people claiming to to all the same. To say the truth, I have not encountered that, but uh, I have been moving around with uh, with some elders who have been have uh, experienced that double locations, and it was giving us a lot, of, especially me, a lot of fear of where to invest yes. when you want to buy land because you're not even very sure. And I was very happy when I was introduced to Moja Dani Housing because I knew at least it was it was it's not just. Uh, <clears throat> About buying and selling uh, so corporate society, it has a church based in it. So the, that essence of church gave me an extra confidence to go and invest in them. And it, to speak the truth, being a member of the, the initial project, I was very happy because I got my title immediately finished. And whenever they said they're going to give us the title, yeah. we got the title that same same day, mm -hmm. and it, it was authentic. Everything was perfect, and I was very happy. Mm -hmm. And that's why mm -hmm. I have invested in every other project mm -hmm. that they have come up with. Mm -hmm. Because they have that we know it's very good. Yeah. Yes. Talking about investing in every other project that they have come up with, you yes. know the only one because as we were talking before we came live on air, Mary here said the same that uh, she's actually invested in the past. How many, how many projects have you done so far? So far, there are four projects. Four projects. Yes. I mean, is it that uh, the project uh, being brought about by Umoja or Indiana Housing Corporate Society Limited are uh, so uh, captivating and welcoming, or is it because of your passion into investment? Okay, I have a passion in investment, but still, Umoja Wendani has proved us wrong. You can get a genuine title and you can get plots within, because most of the projects are in Kabundu Road. Mm -hmm. You can get a plot in Kabundu Road, mm -hmm. and their mode of payment is very. It's okay, they, you work with what you have. So if you can pay this amount of money, and then the rest you just plan the duration you want to pay. Mm -hmm. yes. Awesome. Mr. Daniel, yes. let's talk about membership and the eligibility. Mm -hmm. How do I become a member mm -hmm. of uh, Umoja Indian Housing Corporate Society? Mm -hmm. Very easy, very easy, sir. Uh, what happens is that uh, like now, and I know that by the time we finish this, we incident, I'm going to recruit you as well. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is very easy. I would only really have to. <laughs> <really practice. laughs> I, I know, I am good in persuading people. Uh, I just need a copy of your ID, uh, your, uh, a passport size photo for you. Uh, then I'm going to require that you, you fill a form, a membership form. And uh, after that, you're going to be required to pay a registration fee of Kenya shillings 3000, which is non refundable. Then there is a provision that you must buy. Uh, at least 500, a minimum of 500 shares, mm -hmm. and each share is 20 shillings. That gets us to 10,000. Uh, those shares cannot be redeemed, but they are transferable. Mm -hmm. You can transfer them to somebody if you want to, to exit. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you are going to be required to have at least shillings 50 mm -hmm. for the membership book mm -hmm. or notebook that. Every time you make a contribution, mm. we record it there. That book is kept by you. That's all you require. Mm. Your ID, a photo size, I mean a passport, 
3,000 shillings. And 500 and shillings. Uh, graduating by 500 shares. At 20 shillings each. At 20 shillings each. Mm -hmm. And those shares you can buy as much as you want. Mm -hmm. Know about the shares. Okay. Because those shares are able to give you returns by the end of every year. We call them dividends. We call them dividends. In housing, we call them lipids. Yes. In circle, we call them dividends. Okay. And uh, now that we are at it, I can tell you that we have never paid our dividends or our lipids less than 20% of the shares that we own. Why? We have, because we have always proud distributed the, uh, the, the profits that we have made in our projects to our members. Mm -hmm. yes. Because, you know, the reason why I'm asking why, because we know in real estate, in property, there are seasons. Of course, like any other business, there are yes. slow seasons yes. when the uptake is uh, really low yes. or slow, so to speak. Why are you being very uh, constant uh, as far as the no, rebates are concerned? No, not really constant, you're not being constant. I've said the least you have paid is 20%. Mm -hmm. There is a year that we paid 100% of what a member had given. Most of the member by then had given 3,000 shillings to 4,000 shillings, so we were doubling that because we had sold. And that is in the first project. Our first project was taken quickly. As we had talked of the camera with you, I told you that uh, we didn't struggle in uh, amassing our members uh, because we already had around 4,000 members in the circle, in our mother society called Umoja Medani Circle. Yes. And uh, when the message was sent out there to them that we have, we, are, we have already started an investment wing called Umoja Medani Housing, most of the members joined, so we didn't struggle. We only fished from the circle and got in our members. And uh, so when uh, when we sold the plots out, whatever was legalized over and above, after, of course, the overheads to run the organization, yeah. was distributed to them, and actually that was doubled. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Although most of the members proud that back yeah. to shares. Okay. Yes. Mr. Moses, yes. Uh, one of the oldest members of the uh, cooperative society. Yes. I mean, can you take us through uh, your journey uh, since 2012 until now, the achievement that you personally can say that this is what I've made uh, for the last eight years? Good. Uh, from the from the first project which I was involved and I bought this land there. I actually, we have not started actually building in that land, the initial land. We are still, it's still there. But on the second project, where I also invested at the Comorock, mm -hmm. there we have started building because the infrastructure there was very good. There was rent, there was electricity, and all that. We started building there. And I can tell you for sure, we have never looked back. Reason being, the moment you start investing on land, Every other time, even if I need something now tomorrow, mm -hmm. with my titles in the house, mm -hmm. I don't have to worry. I just have to walk to Moja Vitani Sako, I need a loan for two million. Mm -hmm. I get that loan and I can invest in anything that you, I want in, the, in, this, uh, in this country. Mm -hmm. The advantages of uh, all this project is that any other project that you join, if you pay cash actually, you also, they give they give you an incentive. You if you pay cash, you either get twenty thousand or three percent of the setting price. Mm -hmm. If you want decide to pay by installment, you have the initial payment that you have to make, and then the you tell the the, the circle gives the housing gives you another one year to pay the difference. Mm -hmm. And the, this, that's how simple it has been for us to be able to invest in every other project. Mm -hmm. Because when I have the cash, you can buy it cash and you get cash discount back. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have that, you can also you can pay the the interest at the deposit that they require, and then you pay the rest within a year. Okay. And you have uh, the moment you finish your you finish your payment, you get your title. Mm -hmm. Yes. A uh, couple of your sana. Before we go even deeper, I mean, you came to studio with um, <laughs> trophies and awards, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Daniel. Mm -hmm. uh, allow me to engage the lady mm -hmm. uh, to help talk about. Um, more of this because you know awards are brought about by the good work that you do to the members yes i mean maybe she was involved in the good work uh, for you to amass the awards uh, maybe mm -hmm. what are the trophies about 
Because I think Mr. Waiva can do a good job on that. And, and, uh, yes, and okay. then. Uh, you see, they are very loyal, as you say. Well, thank you, Vincent. Uh, about uh, the trophies, I can see that uh, in this country we have a body called uh, ACK, that is uh, Cooperative Alliance of Kenya. Yes, yes. Uh, it is the apex organization that, that runs all the cooperative yes. uh, organizations in this country. Uh, they have been doing annual assessment or adjudication of the societies and how they are run year in, year out. Now, we decided participation in that, uh, in that adjudication process is for real time. The organization may decide to, to participate in the adjudication or not. Okay. I'm coming to the trophies. Now, in the year 20, from 2016, we decided that we will be participating in the adjudication process. Uh, one of the reasons being that we are in a category called the community-based cooperative organization, mm -hmm. which is not as crowded. So we decided to participate and in that category we were awarded the best managed uh, co housing cooperative society in Kenya. We won the trophy of the, the best. That is in the year 2019. Of course, the COVID-19 came in, so we didn't do the process. Didn't run in the in the, year, in the current year. Okay. Yes, so we won, and uh, the, the trophy was issued by our, His Excellency the President wow. at KICC, that is where the Shirika Day celebrations were held mm -hmm. in 2019. We won the best. Actually, we won four trophies. The first one you was the carry of all of them here today. <laughs> I couldn't, but I carry two, yeah. which are position one. Yeah. This is position one, best improved. We won the first uh, the, this trophy, and the overall best managed society position one. Mm -hmm. We we had also won other awards. Eh? Okay. We were awarded the second the position two best investment housing cooperative society limited in the whole of Kenya in the year 2019. We also won the second position in best capitalization housing cooperative society in Kenya again in 2019. So overall we won four trophies in 2019. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you know you uh, said and, that uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, actually the, the portrait you can see here is uh, for our chairman. Mm -hmm. Elder Jeffrey Mokono mm -hmm. receiving the trophies from His Excellency the President. The President of Kenya. Yeah, this is an attestation mm -hmm. to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I mean, you say that uh, the category that you participated in was uh, community, community, based. community based, based, which is not so crowded. Is it's it not because as crowded. They, they, there wasn't much competition? That, that well, is why you, you, you may want to think so, but there is also an element of uh, effort and merit into it. Because as uh, th these members are saying, we mobilize. We go to the churches, church by ego, churches, marketplaces, asking members to come and invest with us. Same for our mother organization, the circle. The same happens. So actually, uh, we won the, 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 the trophies meritoriously. It was also merit. Yes. Awesome. Uh, we'll talk more about that. I think that also uh, now gives you the merits as far as the authenticity of the societies, uh, the cooperative is concerned. It is. That concerned. also give you the a uh, few marks uh, on your <laughs> certificate. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But, but overall, our members, our members can attest to what we are saying yes. because they have seen us, they have tested us, they have we have interacted, they elect us, and uh, they have kept on electing us back because. Uh, we have delivered. You could not cheat the best. You can't cheat the best. Yeah, sure. Yes. Sure. Uh, uh, we want to take a break. When we come back, we we'll talk about uh, 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 the a number of projects that are currently underway under the uh, organization under the corporate society, and of course, talk about um, what you do more and uh, looking forward mm -hmm. to what uh, the. Kenyan economy has to offer as far as the COVID, uh, not COVID-19, as far as the uh, real estate and property is concerned. Yes. Uh, we want to take a break. Uh, we want to give an opportunity uh, for the um, uh, 
society to give us a little bit of uh, a property guide uh, from the other side. But don't uh, go, go away because we're coming back to talk more about uh, the projects that uh, the society is currently running. Currently on offer are prime 50 by 108 acre residential plots in Lukanya off Mombasa Road and Kenania off Kangundu Road going for only 600,000 Kenya shillings for members and 700,000 Kenya shillings for non-members. Pay a deposit of 200,000 Kenya shillings and clear the balance within 12 months. Cash price is 580,000 Kenya shillings for members and 679,000 Kenya shillings for non-members. Our offices are located in third floor Imani Towers, PCEA Umoja Charge. Are you looking to grow a business? CAC TV offers you a variety of advertising opportunities to suit your budget. Advertise with us today and reach your potential customers countrywide. For more information, email us on sales at cactv.org or call 0794588054. It takes courage to stand up for the society. To quote Barack Obama, we are borrowing the future of our children. Going miles to offer free positive advice for reforms. Oh, that uh, these parties are owned by individuals. And rebuking injustices both from the rulers and citizens. No, uh, having majority and minority. Uh, so all these discussions definitely goes through a people-centered process. The public is now bigger and better. Every Thursday from 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., tune in to CAC TV and join Cornelius Omuse with Kenyans from all affiliations and be part of the reform's journey on matters, politics and governance. Kaributia na mtazamaji ndani ya makala ha speciali ya kazi na mali siku hii ya 29 mwezi disemba mwaka fumbili na 20 tunamalizia mwaka na kipindi speciali cha kazi na mali in studio of course we have uh, my, uh, my guest from uh, umoja wendani housing corporate society limited uh, bila shaka upanda wangu wa karibu hapa ni nae bibie meri wa horo ambaye ni mwanachama alafu katikati tunaye Daniel Waigwa ambaye ni mwenyekiti msaidizi ama naibu mwenyekiti bila shika upande ule wa mbali kule yupo bingwa kwa jina Moses Mrithi ambaye pia ni mwanachama wa uh, umoja wa ndani Housing Cooperative Society ambao bila shaka nitawapatia nafasi bwana chair utuambie afisi zenu ziko wapi bwana Ah asante sana bwana Vincent afisi zetu ziko katika mtaa wa umoja uh, katika compound ya umoja PCA church yes. umo, that is umoja one mm -hmm. uh, katika mipangilio ya kanisa tunasema tuko katika Nairobi East Presbytery mm -hmm. na ni vizuri hata ni sema kwamba uh, wengi wa wanashama wetu wametoka katika ile presbytery yes, yes. lakini pia tuko na wana uh, shama ambao wako diaspora wengine wako Amerikani wengine wako Uingereza yes ambao pia wamenunua na kunufaika na miladi ambayo tumekuwa nayo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome, awesome. Now let's come back and talk about the projects that you people are currently undertaking. Before we go there, I mean uh, Mary hapa pamoja na Moses wamehusika sana kwenye past projects. Mm -hmm. Let me begin with Moses. Which project stands out for you? Kwa zile ambazo umehusika tayari, which one ile ambayo unasema kabisa this one is the best of the rest? Sasa, uwezi kwa zile project kwa nazo, uwezi zema tehini uzuri kuliko hii. Because each experience, each has its own experience. Okay. Kama hile ya kwanza, tulikuwa tunangangania. Hile ya kwanza, tulikuwa tunangangania. Yeah. Na kungangania kwa sababu tulifanya mpaka baroting. Kwa sababu hiyo, okay. ni members ni wajinshaba imepatikana. Proti zinekawanyishwa. Ni proti miaine na fote na, na miaine ya luna fote na arbaine na sita. Na members ni wamefika ya fumoja. Sasa uneza, uneza elewa 
mkutano hapo. Mkutano ile ile ni mtu aweza kupata pale. Yes. Ya pili hata tukiingia kwa hiyo project ya pili ili kuanga ni ndio tuweze kupata wale wateja kuweza kupata ile project ya kwanza mm-hmm. waweze kupata kwa hii ya pili. Lakini pia sio ya kupata tu kuzuia, hatukuzuiwa. Kwa sababu ni kuanga ukiwa na pesa lazima uende kufanya hivyo. Yes. Vile vile katika project zote unakwambia uweze sema te hili ndio project imekuwa mzuri zaidi kuliko hii <laughs> kwa sababu zote ziko na experience tofauti tofauti yes. is it the same case with you Mel? yes the same cause all the projects are different and i think you're forgetting to say all the projects have water electricity and you know, uh, yes I, i want to come uh, yes. to that label of furnishing uh, how do you call it mm-hmm. what name do you give it a uh, furnished plot uh, <laughs> 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 We actually, we actually don't. Uh, we have a, always, you know, in our projects, we have a set of deliverables, uh-huh. and uh, the first one that stands out, and that is why we are, we are ranked among the best. The list is first of all, we give you a title. The other one is that we ensure that that place is habitable, so we put in water, and uh, we try to look for electricity connection. Uh, the third one is that we pave. We pay floats so that we can map the areas where people will meet mm-hmm. uh, or will be able to move. The other one, the first one and the second one were gated community. And uh, even the construction we had attempted to regulate mm-hmm. what you can construct there so that I don't come and construct my small bungalow when you are constructing a skyscraper. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we had regulated. But we have a project that two or two projects that we have not regulated, eh, which are not gated. Uh, and uh, that we ensured before we had over the project that that set of the developers is given. Mm-hmm. Like in our first project, we already sunk a borehole. Uh, the electricity, of course, is we are we we, we work in uh, uh, in uh, you know uh, we, we work very well with the people, the personnel of Kenya Power, yes. and uh, of course the county government, uh, because that some of the those some of those projects are there yeah, yeah, in Machakos yeah. County. They, they are already in Machakos County and uh, of course they, they have uh, in their plan uh, how the, 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 the water will be connected and all that. Mm-hmm. But we already have our board. So we make sure that all the deliverables are uh, in are, place. Are, are in place. Mm-hmm. And when they are not in place, of course, we give ourselves some timelines mm-hmm. and of course tell our members as much. Mm-hmm. That this and they always meet this timeline. Of course. <laughs> this has all been done, but it will be done. And if there are delays, the delays are explained right. to the we members to transparently. This is where we are, and these are the promises that we've been given by the authorities that are concerned. Fair enough. Can yes. you talk about uh, some of the projects underway right now? Uh, one, uh, let, let me start with the latest. Mm-hmm. Our latest project, which is underway and which has uh, quite a number of plots, is in Lokenya. Lokenya is just past the river, mm-hmm. before you get to Mahazoni Lodge. There is a, 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 a Malam load. You take that load seven kilometers inside. That's where we have our project. We are calling it Rokenya Kenya project. Mm-hmm. It is going for six hundred thousand for our members. If you are a member of our society, if you are not our member, we. But just to, to be clear, this project is what the plot is. Uh, yes, the houses uh, so that you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I want to also say that currently we have not gone into cost housing construction. The only construction that we have is a, a block of uh, an office block that we are uh, starting to construct a long term road. Okay. The others are properties based on land. We buy land, a block of land, we subdivide into plots. Okay. One eighth of an acre. Okay. And all our plots have actually assumed that measurement. One eighth of an acre. All the projects. Okay. Yes, the current one that has 350 plots. Mm-hmm. One eighth of an acre. Of an acre in Lokenya. Is in Lokenya, mm-hmm. seven kilometers of uh, Mombasa Road. Mm-hmm. It is going for 600,000. For members? For our members. Uh-huh. If you are not our member and you want to benefit, it's going for 700,000. Okay. We are giving a discount to cash buyers. If you come and buy cash, we are giving you 3% discount. Okay. If you come and don't have money but you have, you know a member who is interested, you earn 3%. You introduce a member who buys. 
Okay. We give you a referral. Yes, so a referral. We give you twenty uh, thousand or three percent, three percent higher. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. that is uh, about it. And, and these guys must be good referrers. Yeah, they have <laughs> really got a lot of members. Uh, we we can say that uh, you know we buy we we do some scouting. Or we, we do some uh, research before zeroing in on a property. Mm -hmm. Like now we are surrounded by so many developments or future developments. We are neighboring the Baptist University there. We have a, a big hotel called Siogubu, which is uh, neighboring us and so on and so forth. Again, the, the load that we touch is being Tamak, has already been earmarked for Tamaki. Okay. Yes. The second project that we have is in Kenani. Kenani is uh, seven kilometers off uh, Karudo Road at a place called Joska. 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 A yes. famous place of, uh, for plot seven. Yes. <laughs> seven kilometers inside. There is a proposed plan that one of the Vision 2030 projects uh, is there. Uh, 500 uh, acres of government where they are building mm -hmm. another city. Mm -hmm. uh, they are saying it's rumored that will have 18 canaries and it will employ around 50,000 people directly. Did you say rumored? Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, I, I see that, the, the, that that's what it has been earmarked for. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, the rumors are not uh, uh, they are not authentic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, the, the, the truth is that uh, the project, the government project, have already started. Okay. And when we went there, that motivated us because we said, if this place will employ fifty thousand people, of course they will require housing. Okay. And why don't we be the people to provide the housing for them? <laughs> And uh, housing being among the big four for the, for the current government, the Jubilee government, we thought it is good to position ourselves to benefit, uh, you know, as a society and also our members. Okay, good one. Next. Yes. Mm. Uh, the other one is just in the neighborhood. When we took the first Kenani project, we realized members were not satisfied. Uh, you know, there were so many members who were demanding land again. So, in the immediate neighborhood, around 200 meters away from the first one, we procured another one, now a bigger piece, which generated 179 plots. And uh, currently, they were all taken. Mm -hmm. We have around 60, 60 remaining out of that. Okay. Uh, yes, the other one is uh, the one that uh, my brother was alluding to at a place called Coma. Mm -hmm. Coma was a project of 670 plots. It was 100 and uh, around 100 acres. It was all taken. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are having uh, two or three commercial plots, which are going for uh, for 1.5 million. Mm -hmm. yes. And you, you talk about uh, the plots. Are you talking about uh, commercial plots, uh, residential plots, office spaces, or, uh, or that? Uh, yes, we have commercial plots and residential plots. Mm -hmm. The commercial plots, of course, are not new. Uh, they are the ones which are touching the tarmac. They are positioned at the entrance. They are the most attractive for, for business ventures. But the residential plots are, of course, at the backyard and they are equally uh, attractive. Like our former project sold very fast. The uptake was so fast. Uh, the 600 plots were taken like... Why was the, it uh, attractive to the because, because we went there when there was no tarmac mm -hmm. along the coma. You, you, you know the, 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 that road that joins the, you know, from uh, Kagudo Road going to Machakos town. Mm -hmm. It was not tarmac then. But immediately, as I was talking about the other one at Rokenya, mm. which is here back for Tamaking, mm. the government came and tamaked that. Mm. And we are positive, even that one that, that I'm talking about, the Siogubu one, will be tamaked. And that is going to give uh, a, a lot of premium to our, to our plots. Uh, the Koma plots, uh, and these uh, uh, two good individuals can attest to that, uh, we were selling them at uh, 380. Right now, they are retaining at a million a piece. If you, want, if you have a, a, a product there and you want to sell, they are retailing between 800,000 to 1 million. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're talking about the Coma project. We know Coma is not a place that uh, has a lot of people. Uh, in, it's not densely populated, so to speak. Yes. And I mean, this is the time that you're saying that it's going for 1.5? 
is it 1.5 is a commercial yeah but residential it's retailing between 800 to 1 million yeah yes and you know it's right now and we know that uh Nairobi is growing, so to speak. The yes. city is growing yes. out of its place now Absolutely. and expanding. Yes. In a few years, that place will be densely populated. It will be densely populated. What is the, 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 the benefit of one going for that plot right now uh, it, compared to the next few years? I, it, it, can, it will be, and this, this one is as true as day follows night, that it will appreciate three times or four times. That project was received in 2015. It was retailing at 380. Like now, you can count the years. Around five years, it is almost thrice, uh, you know, the price that uh, somebody bought. Mm -hmm. The one who bought at 380, uh, 2016, is now selling it at uh, mm -hmm. that amount. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it, it, I, I would like to talk with you a little bit more, but let me give an opportunity to these guys to, to also have their voice heard. Um, Mr. Moses, yes. yes. You know, be, before you you want to take up uh, a property somewhere, you look at so many things: the social amenities, uh, schools uh, around the place, the hospitals, and the likes of the same. Hey, I mean. Did you look at these things before you uh, acquired the property that you had? And is it um, a habit that uh, Wendani Housing Corporation, Co Cooperative Society, looks at before attracting their members to a certain uh, type of property? I mean, schools, hospitals around the place? Because I can't go to a place where I can't find a school for my uh, young daughter. Thank you very much, Vincent. What I can tell you for sure, before Umoja Wendani, comes and tells the members that we have we have earmarked a place to buy. They have always done our last research. Mm -hmm. We have a group and we have a no, uh, we have a, within their committee within the committee we have a development group. Their work is to just go out. They have eyes. They go out and they look for those pieces of land mm -hmm. and they always make sure that all the amenities that we need they are around. Mm -hmm. Even today, if uh, somebody wants to go, for example, to a first project to build, we have schools. We have consulata schools, we have uh, all, the, all, all the amenities are there, we have hospitals around. Each and every plot, or even each and every land, they go and check. They have to check what are the amenities around, mm -hmm. and what are, their, what are there currently, mm -hmm. and what is going to come there in the future. Mm -hmm. And especially when we hear there is a government project coming, we always, we're always tempted. Mm -hmm. Whether it's going to take 10 or 15 years, those people who know the value of land, mm -hmm. they'll go for it. Mm -hmm. Even if you check the people who brought uh, this, uh, this, uh, this land around uh, KCB and around there, and those people who bought those land very many years ago, one of them is my mother. They bought those land in 1950s. Mm -hmm. Now those plots, they're only getting their titles just now. Mm -hmm. They actually got their titles that they just read mm -hmm. And if you compare with the efficiency that the Moja Medani Sako has, well, how they do their research, how they give you a title, mm -hmm. you'll, ne you'll never go wrong when you join us. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, uh, Mary, uh, I mean, you're the youngest of the, of the three, so to speak. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> from, the, from the, the look of things, you're the, the youngest. And I know we young people are attracted differently. What attracts you to property? <laughs> I think it started from a very young age, because my dad is the one who we used to go to where he has invested. So I had that passion in investing. And Umwajo and then he came up with a package that I wanted. Gated community with all the amenities so that attracted me mm -hmm. more to their mm. whatever their projects. Yeah. Yes. You know young people to kill an apesa to take a combat to be to take a bizuri, to drive girl in Zuri and all that. Uh, what is your advice to young people, especially owning property owning in the property. 21st century. Okay, it's not easy owning a property, but first it will come with discipline. Have discipline, kuwa na discipline, kikuja mambo ya pesa, kuwa na discipline. Save. You sacrifice kidogo, unajua tunapende ile, you have the latest phone, but save kidogo, you know. Yeah, with that you'll be able to achieve your goals. Sure. Yes. <laughs> you know, now we are in a year that uh, was really very interesting. 20, 2020 was very interesting. 
as you said ilianza vizuri mm-hmm. but uh, ikakuja hapo katikati covid 19 happened nobody knew this was coming up what have been the impact of covid 19 on the real estate in 2020 and what does that mean for the future of uh, the real estate and property in the next few years mr vice chair yeah that's a nice question but what i can say you know overall overall is that uh, we and i pray very hard that uh, people will not use uh, the 20 the year 2020 as a yardstick uh, to determine whether they are going to make investment into land or not mm-hmm. but the year was challenging but i am surprised you Vincent that there were people who were still depositing mm-hmm. making deposits at Umoja and Dani house mm-hmm. and uh, that must have been real commitment it is real commitment mm-hmm. again uh, the year also brought a wake up call of some sort because most of the people who are comfortable like yourself young people who are earning uh, handsome salaries and uh, they were in the posh estates uh, realized that uh, most of you know, after the job loss or, or maybe the salary cut or whatever happened mm-hmm. they realized that hey kube I'm here on temporary basis i can always be affected uh, you know Uh, if my money goes uh, reduces and uh, actually people are now rushing to come and buy some property mm-hmm. so that they can construct something mm-hmm. on their own you want to say that 2020 was actually a wake up call oh, yes it was a wake up call and actually in every disaster there is some uh, positive uh, element to it a silver lining a silver lining <laughs> uh, as we <laughs> say and i think this year has uh, is going to benefit the, the the real estate business you know that that one i can say and i'm not that's my opinion that's my opinion that it is going to benefit the real estate sector in a way and the people are going to move into land acquisition now more vigorously so that they can have their own residential houses uh, as opposed to the current situation where mm-hmm. they are tenants mm-hmm. yes i mean uh, we we want to conclude because always as we said time will never be enough when you mm-hmm. are in such a, a setup eh? mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know the trends uh, um of um in the real estate uh, mm-hmm. uh, they have been there for the last couple of years and going forward uh as you said you say that uh it's a wake up call yes. for 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 people to invest in mm-hmm. property mm-hmm. but what has the trends what's the uptick i mean what has been the uptick are people considering uh, owning their properties more than renting houses uh, yes from uh, from our society i can tell you our best month is october or previous of the co- or the covid-19 so that tells you that from april people have been learning lessons uh-huh. and those who are still in a position to generate some income uh-huh. decided why don't we start by property uh-huh. and uh, as mary said yeah, we we negotiate with the customer the buyer you can come and tell us you have said that you you want this paid in a year uh-huh. how can I, can i pay within with 18 months or a year and a half uh-huh. We are going to just come to our CEO we are going to agree on the on the mode of payment or the duration of payment because basically other than doing that business for the members we also want to benefit our members mm-hmm. and actually our mission our mission is to provide affordable housing mm-hmm. and we have the opportunities to our members through prudent investment resources mm-hmm. our vision as i had told you before we came here is to be a really christian housing society in this country mm-hmm. we endeavor to do that you never to do that i yes. I, i don't want to to uh, really blow the trumpet yourself mm-hmm. <laughs> like the, the members themselves were doing the same to really blow the trumpet and say what is really attractive why why should i join umoja uh, wa mr moses uh, uh, why should i join umoja wa ndani housing corporate society one For the simple thing that even if you want any time you want to go and uh, 
see the land. Or you, anytime you want to go and, uh, you know, when uh, you want, we usually see many advertisements on the TV. We are selling land in Joska, you have to book an appointment to go and see it, you have to pay for it. We can tell you for sure. For us, before you go and the purchase, you can book an appointment in our office, they'll take you to the land, you'll see it. If you're not satisfied, they'll not force you to buy. Secondly, is that from, from what the services they give us, we have a very competent office, members, team staff in the office. You give them a call and you want any clarification. They don't have to tell you to wait for tomorrow, to wait for the chairman to come. Not less is a very technical thing. They will give you an answer there and straight forward an answer of what you are looking for. Okay? That way, all, which is very important, all our land, we sell them below the market price. Wherever you have a plot, you go and look at the market price outside, your home is cheaper. And that's why, that's why most people come to us. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary, uh, would you rather be a homeowner or a landlord? Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what we are heading to. Everybody wants to yes, own a home and also yes, get a home. home. Uh -huh. Yes. And also a landlord? I want to be both. Mm -hmm. To own a home mm -hmm. and also be a landlord. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, we've seen that uh, it's it's. I mean, in the current situation, yeah, Mr. Daniel said that we should not use 2020 to benchmark, but 2020 has also not been easy to the land, the landlords and ladies, so to speak. It has not been easy, but it's a, also a wake-up call mm -hmm. for all of us. Yes, so mm -hmm. we should mm -hmm. not try and invest more mm -hmm. on land. Mm -hmm. Yes. Unazambia vijana nini kusiana na investment in property? Okay, okay, the time to invest is now. Because, okay, since we join at Konaile Concepts, we invest in our parents, but we have to invest in our children. Because in Konaile time, you don't have so many, what do you call, expenses here or mingi. Yes, so you can be able to invest. Mm -hmm. If you want to invest, start now. Start That's now, yes. <laughs> start now. Well, awesome. I mean, time is really not on our side. Mr. Vice Chair, mm -hmm. can you now give us a close-up on uh, when Danny give us your mission, your vision, and uh, one more thing that you would like to add before we call it a day? Uh, yes, uh, we said. Uh, and of uh, course, give us your contacts and uh, the location. Uh, not, not, not a problem. Mm. Uh, first of all, let me talk about our vision. Our core business is to facilitate access mm -hmm. to and ownership of real estate, housing opportunities, support services to members and the community at large. Uh, being a such kind of uh, Based organization because we most of our membership 95 percent of our members are also members of our church. Mm -hmm. We endeavor to empower them so that these members one day sit and say, Through the church that I fellowship, I was able to acquire this property. And our third of vision is to be a leading Christian housing society in Kenya, and mission is to provide affordable housing and also wealth. Vincent, I can tell you, as I had told you before, that we pay our rebates. I think we are the best. We have always paid, we have not paid anything below 20% in rebates of the shares that any member owns. That makes you stand out. And it makes us stand out. And uh, that one has come through prudence management. Prudence in management. And uh, as a closing shot, I would like to call upon our dear brothers and sisters to who are living in this country to look for an opportunity to own their own land and construct their own habitations or houses so that if a problem like we are going through right now comes again one will not be disoriented you, have, you, you know it's a very sad state of affair when you see someone saying that you have been infected from a house because he has lost his job and cannot be able to pay rent. If that person had invested like uh, this two gentlemen, 
I mean, the, the gentleman and the lady. Mm. Uh, he could dis make a decision like, let me just go and build uh, my body chunk at my uh, property. After all, I mine. can call home. Yes, after all, it's mine. <laughs> so, <laughs> young people who are listening <laughs> to us out there, kindly start <laughs> investing now. Right now. I'm coming yes. back for you to give us the location and your contacts, of course. Yes. But I saw Mr. Moses raise uh, his hand. I give you 20 seconds. No problem. I okay. appreciate that insight. I have a very good experience. I, for example, I have three, three young men who are living very lavishly life before, and I can tell you for sure this year, after COVID-19, they realized they had a wake-up call. When your salary is slashed by half, you are getting 150,000, and then you start getting 75. You start moving from the house you are living to a different house. Luckily. They had the, done some investment, not necessarily in our homoja housing council. But right now, they are just building very small houses within their plots for them to be able to stay. They don't want to pay rent anymore. Even if it's 20,000, they don't want to pay. So what I can tell the young people, let's stay where you are staying, even if you are paying rent. Invest today for your future. Thank you. I said, where can yes. you find you? Yeah, you can find us at uh, we, we, uh, uh, our physical analyst is at, uh, is at PC Umoja. Mm -hmm. that, is, uh, that is in East France. And I believe that uh, we will be able to see that on our screens. Uh, yes. Uh, PC Umoja. Mm -hmm. uh, our phone number is 0708 mm -hmm. That is our office line. My personal number is uh, 0724. Uh, zero four zero seven nine seven for any questions. Uh, we also have an email that is info at Umoja Wendani Osmo, Umoja Wendani Housing dot co dot ke, and we have a website www.umojawendanihousing dot co dot ke. Mm. Yes. All right. I think it's time that we call it a night. Uh, from Kazi Namali, do he go in the studio to make one of his eight to go panda or more in Danny Housing Corporate Society Limited? And Bao Mesmuzia Masala, a ku, basikua, mwenye mako to own, so to speak, to own property and also to some zetu masala mazima ya real estate and property. Na kabla ujaondoka tu, uh, ni jama balo ngependa pia kukumbusha haso e kijana, msema, if you want to invest start now and of course they are giving you the incentives that are of course are available at Mojo and Dani and of course they have proved their authenticity so if you want to join of course you've seen the numbers and I can always get in contact with um, uh, Mr. Uh, Vice Chair for the number that he's given you or also you can uh, visit them at Umoja uh, PCA Parish you said? Yes. Yeah, or chat. Yeah, you can always meet them there if you want to have a little chat about real estate and property. Joko Kwango, Vincent Kerosi, I want to say thank you for being with us at Kazina Mali 2020. I want to wish you a happy, happy 2021. See you next year. Ndani ya Kazina Mali, mamba tukwa mazuri, zaidi na kuwacha na kifungo tukidogo kusiana na umoja wa Ndani Housing Corporate Society. Asante sana kwa kuja ndi guzango. Merry Christmas. Is it Merry Christmas? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Rane mwaka uja. God bless. Do you want to begin a journey to transform your future through real estate? Umoja Wendani Housing Society Limited is here for you. Just recently, we were awarded the Best Managed Housing Cooperative Society in Kenya by His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, a true testament to our excellent service and commitment to provision of affordable real estate opportunities. Join us and let us help you start your home ownership journey through acquisition of affordable land. Currently on offer are prime 50 by 108 acre residential plots in Lukanya off Mombasa Road and Kenania off Kangundu Road going for only 600,000 Kenya shillings for members and 700,000 Kenya shillings for non-members. Pay a deposit of two.